Hi and welcome to Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. Speaking of WPAlgorithm.com, it looks something like this. Huge logo, disassembled elements on the website. I don't know what's happening. So let's debug this and let's troubleshoot this website and make it look cool again. The first thing that I'll do is go to Cloudflare. Since this website is added to Cloudflare, I'll try to purge the cache and I'll just click on purge everything and let's see if that fixes the problem. So we'll wait for some time, come back and see if that's fixed. Apparently that didn't fix the problem. So the next thing that we need to do is to log into the WordPress dashboard. I've not updated or maintained this website for quite some time now. So there may be some pop-ups to update my data. I'll just click that to update my data or database, whatever. And let's see if that actually fixes the problem. I'll also click on Elementor Pro Data Updater. Click to run it. We'll see if that helps. Hopefully that should help. I'll click on Visit Site. Let's see if it's of any help. And as you can see, now the website is all back normal. Now, so that was the problem with Elementor Data Updater. So you can follow these steps. The first thing is to check cache plugin or if you're doing it on a third party like Cloudflare, you have to purge all the cache from that particular website. The second thing is to go and see if you can update any of the plugins. And if you if the plugins are auto updated, you have to see if the updated plugins are causing a problem and maybe try to restore from a backup. And the third thing that I'd suggest is to go to Elementor's website settings and regenerate cache. So that should fix the problem. But anyway, as you can see, the problem is already fixed. You have to go to Elementor settings, click on tools and you have to click on regenerate files and data. So this is my third suggestion. Hopefully by now, all your problems should have been fixed. And if you have a caching plugin, just purge all the cache and see if that fixes the problem. Otherwise, it's either problem with any third party plugins or with the latest version of any of the plugins that's causing the problem. You can then use the safe mode to debug that. But anyway, in this case, just updating the database fix the problems. So again, always stay updated and always have a regular backup. That's a short and sweet tutorial and I'll be back soon. S subscribe if you haven't already to WPAlgorithm.com and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.